There is an outcry when a video game about cowboys, Red Dead the Redemption 2, featured a non-playable black character. The offended gamers didn't realize that historians estimate that 25% of all cowboys were in fact black. This isn't the only time that the popular narrative didn't contain the full truth. I'm in an educational committee called Teachers Against Racism, and after doing considerable research and referring to several sources, I believe that there is something that we can do to help correct these historical and misrepresentations. As a citizen of this country, and in the midst of all the George Floyd protests, this impacts you. African American history should be incorporated into Michigan's K-12 curriculum because diverse representation in history, textbooks, and vocabulary in the classroom benefits all students. In this speech, I will showcase the evidence of benefit for students of color, explain how incorporating black history can benefit all students, and finally, I will inform you on how we can bring about this change. Incorporating African American history increases, increases test scores and feelings of inclusion in students of color. The test scores from two different studies reflect that multiculturalism teaching improves test scores. First, Good, Bourne, and Drake concluded that educators must be sensitive to the effects of their language and the way they communicate their thoughts on diversity. So here they had two conditions. One was colorblind and one was multiculturalism, and both were diversity philosophies. And here you can see that students of color did poorly in colorblind diversity philosophy, but did much better in multiculturalism. And white students did approximately the same. In a second study by Celeste, Besu, Philette, Mesium, and Kendi, multiculturalism predicted smaller belonging and achievement gaps over time. So over here we will see the condition of colorblindness again, and we see that the achievement and belonging gap is very large, spanning from here to here. It's a very large gap. Here with assimilation, we have a much smaller gap, but there's still a gap. And up here at multiculturalism, there's barely a gap at all, if any. The feeling of inclusion comes from representation. I'll first showcase this with two pictures. Here are the six original Disney princesses and the six original Avengers from the movies franchise. In an article by Abbott, Mabbitt, she said that kids of color deserve infinite choices and not just the oppressive, repetitive, slave, silver rate narrative that has been consistently published in the past. So you can see here that the original six Avengers were all white, and then when they included Black Panther into the franchise, Killmonger had a civil rights narrative, and then over here we have the original six Disney princesses, five out of the six are white, and then when they included Princess Tiana, Princess Tiana had an oppressive narrative as well. We Need Diverse Books is a movement and an organization that has done much to increase the awareness of that young people need and deserve to see themselves in reflected in books and media. Next, let's talk about how this will benefit all students. Incorporating African American history into the curriculum for K-12 students will not hinder achievement in white students and will increase cultural competency. The same scores we just looked at showed that white students did not suffer from the change in vernacular or teaching. So what we have seen most often has been the colorblindness, and white students and uh, students of color have done very poorly in the colorblind. But then in assimilation and in multiculturalism, the uh, lines here are very straight and have not uh, become worsened because of these conditions. Good, Bourne, and Drake concluded in their study that white students' STEM performance is not affected by diversity language. Communities that lack, benefit, lack diversity benefit from diverse curriculum or books through developing cultural competency. Mabbitt makes note of this when she said, it is not unusual for children's librarians to be told that a certain branch does not need books that include people of color because it is unrepresentative of the community. This could not be further from the truth. It is precisely why we need such books in these libraries. This is emphasized by DeLath and Simeon, who wrote that young people who are growing up deprived of first-hand experience with diversity can begin to acquire awareness of other through literature. The first step to two, true cultural awareness is recognizing that culture isn't something that other people have. So, this is also emphasized again in a study in 2012 by Rodriguez and Priyal. The quantitative data showed that literary texts help students develop tolerance and empathy. So in here they used multicultural texts that increased understanding of women and gender 
and cultural borders. And so you can see over here, they strongly disagree, disagree, neither agree nor disagree, agree and strongly agree. And after doing these questions, the literary texts provide a multicultural interplay of voices that can teach students to respect the values and customs of different cultural groups. Now that we have all of this information, I will tell you what we can do right now to help. There is currently a petition being circulated in Michigan to encourage state representative Pamela Hornberger to hold a pub public hearing for HB 4276. So HB 4276 will create a commission that will work to better incorporate African American history into the K-12 core curriculum for the 2025 to 2026 school year. Incorporating African American history into the core curriculum means that students will be tested, which will ensure the benefits that I've outlined in this speech would be available for all students in Michigan. In conclusion, African American history should be incorporated into Michigan's K-12 curriculum because diverse representation in history, textbooks, and vocabulary in the classroom benefits all students. We have spoken about how the incorporation of African American history can benefit students of color in particular, how it can benefit all students, and how we can bring this curriculum into our schools. We have seen many benefits that HB 4276 will bring to our students, so scan the QR code and sign the petition. Thank you for your time.